I am going to draw this picture of a jack-o'-lantern and a ghost with a bat. First you want to start out um, in this area of the paper and draw a big curved line for one side of the pumpkin and then another big curved line that goes around and connects to the other one. That's your outline of your pumpkin. Next we're going to draw the eyes and they're triangle shape but they're going to curve a little bit, curve to the same curve as the outside of the pumpkin. And then this line will curve a little bit too. And then connect the bottom and that one's slightly curved too. The other eye will curve out this way and then down and then across. Right here you want to draw a line that follows the shape of the eye that shows how deep and how thick the pumpkin is and then do it again on this side. Then there's a smaller triangle in the middle for the nose. And then the mouth, you want to start over here and draw a curving line this way. And a straight line down, over, and then up for the tooth. And this line goes up farther past that line and then continues up. Then draw it down. and back this way and stop there and make another tooth and then connect the side of the smile. Then you'll draw a line that follows the bottom curve of the mouth and you go behind the tooth and then along the bottom and up to here. Next we'll draw the stem, it's a curved line up, and then from here you make an oval shape, and then from here you go down like that. Next we'll draw the lines on the pumpkin. These are the little creases in the pumpkin, and they follow the same shape, the same curve as the pumpkin is and then it goes behind the mouth and comes out at the bottom. And we'll draw this side, one line way out here, following the curve of the pumpkin shape, and then another one that's curved more down the middle. And then you go out on the other side of the mouth. On the bottom you can draw some little zigzags for grass and then on this side like that. Now to draw the ghost, let's see, we're going to start over here and draw this up like that. Just a big blob. And this goes down. This is like one of the ghost's arms. And then a point. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be any way you want your ghost to look. For the eyes, I have ovals that curve that point inwards a little or a lot and then a big oval in the middle over here I have a bat so you want to start like this with like a smiley 
face shape and a curve down and a curve down and then when one of the wings and another wing right below right here's two eyes right below these eyes about here just do this it's right that's the bottom of the body and then you go up and connect to the outside of the wing like that now um, for the horizon line behind where the grass meets the sky draw a line here and then imagine where it would come out over here so this is the grass and this is the sky and now there's going to be a big moon in the back so you start with a big circle it goes off the page and then you try to imagine where it would come back on the page in a circle shape and there you have it and this is what it looks like colored <laughs>